Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we did the Camping Tomb bonus mission and got to do something that everybody in, who has played this game has always wanted to do, and we got to play as the Exylvanians. However, it didn't go quite as well as I was hoping for because we only got a B rank, but barely scraped it out of getting a C rank. Today, we're going to be heading off to the next campaign of the war. We're going to head off to the Coral Atolls for X Day. It's time to take the fight to the enemy, invade and reclaim the base at Beachy Point from Exylvanian occupation. We must dislodge the enemy foothold from this first landmass in the Coral Atolls Island chain. Colonel, what news? We sent an expeditionary force to meet with Empress Leko of the Solar Empire. However, it seems that they were intercepted by the Exylvanians. And so the curtain rises on yet another theater of war. What now? We engage the enemy. If we are to have peace, we must fight for it. It pleases me when you are assertive, Colonel Austin. Greetings, Commander, and welcome to the Coral Atolls. This is Beachy Point Island. We are here to put a stop to Kaiser Vlad's invasion of the Solar Empire. The survivors of the Frontier's Expeditionary Force are also waiting to be rescued. Unfortunately, Vlad has this island extremely well fortified. Your battalion will be assaulting entrenched positions, so use your mortar vents to flush the enemy out of cover. Ready, Commander? Then I'll see you on the beach. Alright, boys, let's get a move on. Press on, Commander. Only relentless force will win this day. Alright, so we got a lot of defenses between here and our first objective. We got a lot of grunts, and I do mean a lot of grunts. I think this is like the biggest concentration of grunts in the entire game, uh, I do so believe. We got a line of grunts, we got a line of rocket vets, and then we also got a pair of artillery pieces that we need to take out if we want to clean the beach. Uh, we got acid gas vets up ahead, we also got MG towers, we got a POW camp over here with, I believe, a tank crew? No, missile vets. I thought a tank crew was up here, huh. But the big goal that we have to go to is we got to get to the base over here to save the two, uh, almost said Solar Empire, we haven't met them yet, uh, to save the two Western Frontier fighter pilots and get them airborne. So let's go! Push up, boys! You stay on this beach, you're dead! I always liked it, it's just a head-on, like, charge right through these enemy lines. You're gonna be losing a lot of troops in this. If you stay on that beach for too long, the artillery will zero in on them, and they will, uh, take significant casualties. I'll keep the grunts behind just to keep them uh, attacking the ground forces. So, however, the, uh, okay, maybe want to call them up because I think this artillery is zeroing in on them. Take out the artillery, and we are good to go. That's an MG tower that's not occupied. Huh? You know an <gasps> Honestly, oh, there they are. Now they're occupied. It's. Uh, the Solar Empire campaign, I have to admit, has some of my all-time favorite grunt quotes for the Western job, Frontier. Man. It's just, they're so goofy and memorable. Alright, let's get the battalion up here. I'll keep uh, this on the acid gas vest. Let them focus fire on me, because this will do little to no damage while my troops just take potshots at them from behind. Wow, really? You thought you'd getting in the middle of this mess would be enough to save you? Oh boy. Oh, they're actually trying to hit us from behind. Thankfully, it's only a couple grunts, so yeah, they're easy pickings. All right, not, not bad, not bad, boys. All right, anyone need to get? I need a bunch of you to get on that flag over there. Good job, Commander. You have eliminated the helipad garrison. Now raise the frontier flag. Anybody got a spare mag? I'm sure one of your buddies do, does. Uh, we lost a couple of our assault vets, we lost a mortar vet, and I think we lost like four grunts in the assault. 
But hopefully the reinforcements here are going to be more than enough to, to replenish the losses. Head for the gold star. All right. Well, here come the reinforcements right now, so... Well, that's not good. Let's get the team up here and go save those POWs. Missile vets are amongst the survivors of the expeditionary force. They are being held in a POW camp marked by the Silver Star. That's a tank. I forgot there was actually a tank up here. All right, we got a fresh tank to re from that reinforcement. Also got, looks to be, yeah, we got a couple of mortars, a, a couple of assault vets. I don't think we got any grunts from that. I think it was just vet units. Uh-oh. We got the grenade vets up there. I'm gonna go get this real quick. There we go. Nope, return fire to them then. Take him out, take him out. There we go. Nice of you guys to finally join me. Now, oh god, I think they're actually starting to circle around behind us. Yeah, the garrison here is going to start, like, trying to pincer you with their troops. Thankfully, they only send a few at a time. So, the troops that we got uh, are pretty good, like, back defense. Because what we really need to do is punch through a line of this defense right here and save those two pilots. And thankfully, this line only has, like, one or two grunts protecting it. So, it's not like you're really at uh, any threat. Those rocket vets, however, probably will pose a bigger challenge. Center vets after that one. I'll keep the vehicles behind. Oh boy. I'm wondering, where is our other tank at? Okay. It's just back there with the mortar vets. Intelligence update. Vlad is holding two of our fighters in his fortress. If you free the pilot, we should be able to even up the odds. Oh, jeez. Bad news, Commander. Vlad is about to commit his straddle destroyer to the fray. Actually, I need to get that cherry can. Boys, don't you deny me this. Here we go. Gunships incoming, Commander. They must be the vanguard of Vlad's airborne assault. Shoot them down. All right, take out that tank first, and then let's go rescue our, our pilots. Let's get inside the space. Get a little bit cover here. All right, pilots are free. Let's drop the boys off in here. That way we can just funnel the exoplanets through a choke point. You freed the frontier pilot. Now get those fighters airborne ASAP. Fighters are the fastest of all airborne combat vehicles, but their heat-seeking missiles are only effective against other air units. As That's a lot of gunships. You must press and hold the R button and tilt the control stick if you wish to adjust your altitude. All right, looks like the battalions successfully got themselves inside the fortress, so that's good. There you are. Yeah, they're they're funneling into the fortress, but thankfully the the boys that are there are doing a pretty good job of holding them off. I actually, forgot there was an artillery piece out there. I thought that was actually just a light tank position. That's the enemy strato destroyer. Clear the skies, Commander. There we go. About time he showed up. All right, Strato destroyers are kind of like the boss fight to, of air battles. They are very tanky. They are double as a fighter and a bomber, and they are packed quite a punch. But they are very slow and very hard to maneuver. So 
You stick your fighters to them, you're basically done for. Oh boy. I actually forgot you also had to take out the gunship uh, wing with it as well. I thought it was just the strato. No, I haven't seen any casualties for the ground force, so it looks like they've done a good job of digging themselves into an entrenched position. As long as they stay inside that fortress, we should be good to go. Oh, that's my guy. Sorry! There you are. Of course, I can't get a good shot on him because he's moving too slow and I'm moving too fast. Even with the reduced speed, it's so hard to get a lock on him. That's the Frontier's first successful engagement against an enemy strato destroyer. If I know the Kaiser, he'll be furious. Congratulations, Commander. You have recaptured Beachy Point and liberated the survivors of the expeditionary force. The loss of this island is of no consequence to me. Exylvania shall prevail. It is our destiny! Something tells me Vlad's a little miffed about that loss. If I did I just lose a fighter? Please tell me I didn't actually just lose a fighter and that actually is going to count against me. Mm, I feel like the fighters would have been a big hit for a technique and, well, we did lose 11% of it. Our we really lost uh, a lot because we left a good number of the Exylvanes on the island alive, although it was a pretty nice number if I do say so myself. Speed though, really good on that, so I'll take the A rank. Total was 86, I'm okay with it. Alright, new unit that we got to play with, the Fighter. Its stats are, it has a crew of 2, a speed rating of 6, a weapons rating of 2, and an armor rating of 3. Its role is air-to-air -air support, but it's poor against air-to-ground capabilities. The F-19 Poltergeist is the most advanced jet fighter yet. It has twin air-to-air -air silverfish missile pods that are perfect for taking down enemy aircraft. The inaccuracy of its missiles against sub-radar targets limits its usefulness to air-to-ground roles. Alright. Well, we made a good uh, first mission into the Solar Empire's Coral Atolls, however, we, it's about time we go and meet with the Solar Empire themselves and give them a bit of a hand of reclaiming their territory. Next time on Battalion Wars Revisited, we'll do just that in Herman's Heroes. See you guys next time. Later. Did you know the coral is actually an animal?